Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, puppets and puppeteers, welcome back to another exciting episode of Super Couch Fighters. It is an exciting episode, you know why? Where we're gonna play Ed! Yeah, yeah, this is a brand new day for Street Fighter, Yay! man. The new CFN is released, which hopefully will affect our ability to find people quicker and more sure, reliably. Sure, sure, of course. I'm very much looking forward to that. Uh, and, of course, we got some new stuff. Got a new stage. Uh, and got a new character, of course, and it's a character that I'm a little bit familiar with due to that beta, but you... I, I missed the beta. I, I tried to stay around for it. Nothing ever happened, so I left. Uh, but, two trials now, or just one? Well, there's volume one trials, which is the old one, but they've also released new trials for every single character, which oh, is very no. cool. And I did not, oh no, oh yes. We gotta go back through. Who's we? You yeah, don't gotta yeah. do shit. All right. But I've been doing a couple of them, they're tight. I did them at home, which is why they're not reflected here. Okay. But the, I've been doing the new trials, they're like much improved. Oh, a lot nice. Of the, a lot of the combos are practical and more challenging. Nice. They're great. Uh, and I let's, let's do this, it's Ed time, baby. Now, what do you know about Ed? I know that he doesn't have any, like, traditional Street Fighter commands. True. They're all, like, directions and buttons and things yeah, like that. Yeah, he has one pseudo-traditional one, but we'll get to that. He's some sort of orphan boy, and much like uh, Shazam, he's actually a young boy, but he's grown into a man very quickly. Yeah, narratively, all I understand is that he was some boy that was kidnapped by Shadow who experimented on to become the next body for Bison. Balrog found him when the lab was crumbling and was like, I'll raise this kid. And that's Ed. I'm fucking tired of them making bodies for bison. How many fucking games is there just a character? Eight. There's eight bodies for bison. Right. Uh, it's Ed time, baby. Yeah. You, you don't know anything about the way he plays, right? Uh, he's got that grapple move. He's got yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, he's yeah. got a mixture of like psycho and boxing. Yeah, sure. But mechanically, how he fits into this game, as far as I can tell, is a character that has like. By the way, guys, you're hearing hip hop come out of the game, not from us. We're not adding that. That's his actual theme. Um. He's got uh, very good buttons up close. Up close, he applies a lot of good pressure. But his footsie game is not so great. However, he can supplement that footsie game with a projectile, as, as well as moves that can bring the opponent in close. Yeah, and uh, then you do I've, crazy juggles, right? Like once you, you grab you them, then you juggles, do fun stuff. But I find him fascinating because like, he gets, I don't think he plays footsies that well, but he gets around the footsie game in a unique way. How's that? Well, like I said, bringing people close to him is something that nobody else really does much. He's like a psycho version of a reptile. Reptile? <laughs> Not reptile, scorpion. Uh, but his buttons up close though, once he's in there, yeah. he's pretty godlike. And his anti-airs are fucking dumb good. All don't of them jump, are pretty good? Don't jump at this kid. Okay. All right, great. Uh, let's go over his button, shall we? Sure. Jab is pretty standard, four framer, okay? Uh, medium punch is godlike. It's meaty. It's, well, it's, I don't know how active it is, but it's, I think, plus, like, six on hit. Okay, so you can just do it all day. Well, my point is this. It's plus three on block, which makes it super safe, and it is your turn for days. And on hit, it's, it's, uh, has advantage enough to go into crouching fierce, if I'm not bad at the game. Look at that. Wow. Crouching fierce. Crouching fierce. I know, I get, I get what you're saying. That's a very heavy button. Uh... This one, uh, Standing Fierce, is a pretty good poke for him. That's real long. For him, it is. But for other characters, it's not. Um, but it's one of his better pokes because it has that range and that speed. I'm real middle of the road. I think on block, it's like minus two, so you're not going to get punished for it or anything. Uh, but you have to use this every now and then to, like, duff people out, you know? Uh, light Kick. His only three-frame normal. It's it's a three-framer. Boom, boom. Uh, it's two, two. It's his fastest thing, so if you think there might be a gap somewhere, that's the one you want to go for. Cool. Medium kick is pretty good. I think it whiffs on crouchers at long ranges. Can you anti-air with it, too? Yeah, 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 if okay. they jump in from the right angle. Uh, but it's actually like, with a f medium kicks, they usually don't get good advantage on hit or block. I think this thing is like plus two on block and like plus three on hit or something. Okay. Even more so, because that's four. It's like not bad. It's one big downfall is that it uh it's a little slow and it whiffs on crouches at like big distances. That's all. You understand? Yeah. And this roundhouse, which is this, it's got nice forward movement. It can even like go over some other characters low attacks. It's a crush counter. Nice. Uh it's just a little slow. That's all. And it's pretty punishable. I don't know what it is, but like it's pretty punishable if you don't space it right. It looks a little goofy. I like the <laughs> move. It's just a little goofy that his back is to her drew. What'd you say? Turd you. Turd you. Looks uh, like a little kid. I'm gonna kick you. Ugh. You only want to do this for max range or else you're gonna get blown the hell up. Okay. Crouching normals. Pretty standard jab. Four frame. 
four frames short as well. Okay. Uh, medium punch is very good. Yeah. Pretty good distance. I think it's plus two on block. That's just good stuff. This is good combo filler. This this belongs in the middle of combos. And honestly, I think it's one of his better footsie tools. Once again, it's not a great footsie tool in general, but like he has to use it. Okay. This thing is not bad. I don't know the numbers on it. I forget, but you know, it's, it's a, a low. Good, it's a good poke. It's a low. Uh, crouching fierce, we went over. Godlike anti air. Yeah, man. I think minus five on hit. That's like or a more rather on block cut. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, this is a good anti air, and it's also good combo filler after that. Uh, and of course, roundhouse. Better be careful with that. Ooh, is there a little delay at the start of it? What the round? Uh, the, the, the I, sweep? I, yeah. It's just slow, slower startup. Okay. A lot of most sweeps are pretty slow. Uh, let's see. I was going to ask if he has any command normals, but all of his moves are kind of like command normals, right? I think he might have a command normal. No? Am okay. I wrong? Anyway, so let's go over his special moves, shall we? Sure. First of all, he has his uppercut. It's just performed by pressing two punches. Just two punches? Two punches. That's all it is. So it's kind of like, uh, now, is it? can you hold the buttons like turnaround punch? No. Okay. It is just two punches, and it's an uppercut. It's more of a combo. It's a combo ender. Is there an EX version of it? Yes. You press three punches. Got it. Two hits, a little bit more damage, and more importantly, that is his, um, that is his uh, re reversal. Oh, it's okay. It's completely invincible at the startup. It's a little slow. It's like Yurian's headbutt. Yeah. In that... You know how like EX Shoryukens, they start up in like three frames very yeah, fast? Yeah, you go to the sky. But this guy, he, there's the, he's a little bit more dangerous in that someone can like throw out a quick normal on his wake up. And it's so like his, his reversal is so slow that they might have the time to like throw out a normal and still block it, which is bad for Ed. Okay. But he's got a fucking invisible reversals a lot more than a lot of people can say. Right. Uh, he also has this move, which is just two kicks. Fantastic anti-air, and you can even press punch again to go into uh, a dive for more damage. Can you use that if you whiff it to make the punch no, safe? No, you can only oh, cancel only the punch. Only on hit. No, yeah, only on hit. So even if they block it, if you if they block it, you can't cancel into the punch. And if you whiff, you obviously can't go into the punch. Got it. So get bopped. This is his SR. You that's a it has reversal properties. So if he does that, you can totally get a crush counter on him. I like the move and what it does. Again, though, do it for me. Okay. It just looks a little goofy, right? Like all that psycho. He just puts one foot in the air. Yeah, man. He's efficient. Okay. Uh, there's an EX version that gives you a better juggle. How do you do the EX version? Uh, after the double kicks, you just press double punch instead of one punch. So the EX part is only the end part. Yes. Okay. Think of it as two moves. But the second dive move, you can only access from this move. You understand? Okay. Uh, great anti-air. Like like I said, don't jump at this kid. You know what I mean? Uh, let's talk about another one of his moves. He has this. Uh, it's a mash move. This is like, you know, very few people have it. It's that flicker punch. Oh. In my opinion, it's, if it's like its only use is like... Ending combos, like, let me put it this way. All of his moves are unsafe on block. Even this one is, I think, minus three, so some people can, sorry, some people can punish it. But this is the thing you want to confirm in, not confirm into, but buffer into in the neutral. Okay. So, for example, let's say you're in the neutral and you're trying to work your way in. You don't want to do this, because if they block that, bye-bye. You certainly don't want to do something like that, because if they block that, you're done. Instead, you kind of want to do... Because if they block that, you'll be okay. What happens after that situation? What do you reset into? It's minus three, so it's their turn. But hey, at least you're not getting blown up. Right. So one of the things that I like to do in the neutral with him is... And, like, you throw that out. Just, it's like the equivalent of a crouching medium kick to Hadouken. And like, you know, if they throw something out, they'll get hit by that. Um, so you can do that from crouching medium punch. You can do it from crouching medium kick to catch people walking back. And you know, every you can confirm into it with jab too. Sorry, like that. Uh, v skill. It's well, hold on. It's it's like uh, it's probably one of his hardest moves to perform. Like the piano motion is a little hard for a lot of people, right? Uh, but the way that I like to do it is just like like I'm on a stick, so it's a little bit easier for me. But I like to just do back and forth with light and medium. 
And Just whatever, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, but whatever button I start with, that's the one I end on. So if I'm poking with crouching medium punch, that's already the first punch out of five. So then I go medium punch, light punch, medium punch, light punch, and then I end on medium punch. So it sounds all fast together like this. Now, are you ever doing oh. it the other way, initiating with light and ending yes. with light? Yes, yes, if I'm confirming off of jab. So if I go one, two, boom. You feel me? Yep. The last one I usually do is crouching medium kick. And what I do is I... um. I press crouching medium kick and light punch at the same time. So Pressing like, both of those at the same time. Yeah. So you're you making like a little, little like a cross. Yeah, a little cross. Doing them both at the same time means a crouching medium kick comes out because higher priority, higher, heavier buttons have higher priority. And uh, you're, that's, you're matrix matrixing right now this SF5, but it takes the input of the light punch as well. It doesn't take the input of it, but like it accepts a light punch has been pressed. So that's one out of five if you're quick enough. Wow. So that's why I press it like, rather than do crouching medium punch and then five, I'm just going to press both the crouching medium punch and, and the first four. punch at the same time to save time. Because I'm in there. And then that's just four more that I have to do. And that's a good way to catch people if they're like not watching their legs. Yep. Uh, like I said, a pretty safe move if done, like, you know, a pretty safe move most of the time. And you're going to have to do it a lot. How, how do you do the projectile? So the projectile is kind of like this move. Like, think of it as two mo two special moves, and the one you can only access after doing the other. Feel okay. Me? The first special move is this spark. How do you do that? It's just forward and medium punch. Forward, medium punch. So that's the spark, and it. I think this is also minus three on block. I might be wrong about that. Uh, it's good. It's 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 basically um, a combo extender and filler. As well as you can use it to nullify projectiles if they throw something at you. You can get a single hit projectile nullify and then win the war by doing that. You feel me? Yeah. So you nullify, boom. And you just do that by pressing another punch after forward medium punch. And each punch will have a different... Yeah, speed. So, you know, heavy, light. You get the idea. You can also EX that by pressing two punches after the forward medium punch. Okay. This thing is godlike. Not only does it nullify, you know, it'll eat a projectile from the opponent as well as go through... I think you're plus eight on block after that. Plus eight, which is dumb. Yeah. So if you're in the middle of some bullshit, uh, make them hold that. It is still very much your turn. That's some John and Kate shit right there. That's good shit. I love that move. Uh, all right. Let's talk about his V skill. Yeah. His V skill has a couple of different versions. If you tap it, it's just this. It goes out to snatch you. And then if he hits you, he slides to you and punches you. Pretty good stuff. But so it's if, kind of like a uh, like a mm -hmm. command grab, right? No, because it's blockable. It's a hit. It's a, if anything, think of it like a, a projectile that goes into an animation. Because that's like, what it is. Like, get over here. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Except that you're sliding to him. It's minus two on block. So if they block that, he will slide to them and punch. But he'll be minus two. Got Completely it. safe, but you're in their face and it's their turn. Right. However, he has a different version, which is the charged version. That's the one you want. That's the one. That's the one I was seeing. So that's the invest. Like the investment is, it starts up slower, giving your opponents time to like jump at you and fuck you up. Uh, but if it connects, oh boy, you get the juiciest of juice. You know, the strings look like something out of Ghostbusters. Like you're killing a ghost, <laughs> bring him into that fucking trap you got. You can even do like little resets like that off of it. You can do whatever you want. It is a full free juggle state, which is Fun. very cool. And you know the best part is. So let's say you're in the neutral, this thing will go through fireballs and still drag them. And if they get dragged by this but block it, if rather if they block it, they'll still get dragged in and you're plus three. So basically you have a mix up. It is you yeah. If they get dragged in by that, and it's even you know, on hit, get ready for a combo. On block, hold this mix up in your chest. Hold you better guess. And of course you want to guess between like a medium punch and a grab, you know, stuff like that. Uh also I forgot a special move, by the way. It's this. You know a heavy punch? If you hold it all the way, he'll do that. Ooh, little ground knuckle. Yeah, it's a burn knuckle. Psycho knuckle. Yeah, psycho knuckle. So uh, if you do psycho knuckle, it's minus two on hit. Oh, sorry. Minus two on block. So you'll go to the other side of them if they block it, but it'll be their turn. Okay. It's minus two. Safe. Completely safe. However, if they hit, obviously you see this, and they go into full crumple state, letting you get some cool stuff like sweep for the easy. But if you want some cool stuff, you can do that. You can, you can do it. some yeah, all yeah, kinds yeah. of cool shit. You feel me? Yeah. Uh, and if you're quick enough, you can even get a non like that right there. If you're quick enough, you can get a non juggle uh, follow up, which is what you want. See, even I'm too slow right there. I was there. gonna say that's that's pretty tight. Look at that. Look at yeah. that. You see him? I got him. Uh, 
There you go. Wow. Wow. That's a lot of damage. We'll get there. We'll get there. So that's those are the first two versions of his V skill, the non-charged one and then the charged one, right? And then what is the uh, trigger? The other. Well, I'm not done. There's more versions of the V. There's the more v versions. Yeah, the V skill. So he has the the anti-air one. So the non-charged one. Um, it has kind of a steep angle, so it's not. Oh, it's not easy to use as a raw anti-air. Yeah, but that's dive kick angle. That's a pretty good angle. Yeah, but not everybody's gonna be jumping from that angle. Um. It's better used as, like, you know, a juggle ender. So, for example, you could do something like this. Feel me? Yeah. It's a combo ender for sure. Some extra damage and some pretty good corner carry. That's all. It's like fucking Space Jam. Yeah, that's just a power dunk. This you guy's got Terry's fucking moves. dunks on you. Remember Power Dunk? Yeah. He's got Power Dunk. He's got Burn Knuckle. Yeah. You know? uh, but the charged version, that's nothing but juice. I'm going to see if I can do it. Oh, no, I can't. I'll probably have to do it later in one of these trials. Yeah, so you you'll, you'll show it to me. So we'll get there. Same thing with V-Trigger. I don't have it right now. We'll go. But basically, that's his basic kit. We'll see the rest of it as we go on with these trials. Is there anything else you want to No, show me, these, show me these trials. All right. We didn't go over his jumping stuff, but it's pretty standard. Jumping hard punch, standing light punch. This is a great example. Like I said, they've really improved the trials for Volume 2. A lot of them are practical. I remember doing nice. a lot of them being like, yeah, I do this. Like, this is what you're supposed to do. They don't tell you what they're useful for, but that's what I'm here for. Right. So this one is, I would never do this. <laughs> uh, if you're going to jump in, you may as well do uh, something bigger than this. But let's say it didn't start with a jump in. Standing light punch to psycho flicker, which is one, two, three, the fucking yeah. flicker attack, is great because it's safe. So you could do that just in the neutral. Like, if you're walking forward, you could do that. But off, they want us to do it off of a jump in attack. Sorry. I'm going to call Psycho Flicker Sesame Street because he counts to three and he's a little boy. Great. So this is crouching, sorry, jumping hard punch to crouching medium punch. That and jumping hard punch is real good if you can get okay. it to connect. It's okay. It's got a pretty good box on it for like deep stuff. Um, and then they want us to do boom, boom into the uh, the kicks, into the, the dive. Very simple stuff. Yeah, that's that's day one stuff. If you're gonna play Ed, you should be able to do that every single time. Once again, though, I would never do that. Why? Um, because if you're if you land this jump in, you can get way worse. Okay. Which they'll probably have us do, but it's there. Uh, they want us to do standing medium punch to crouching medium kick. Okay, we're getting a little bit better. They want us to do a standard link. So this is a link combo between. Remember, this medium punch is so buff you can basically link into anything after. Nice. Including crouching medium kick for distance. So, they want us to do... Boom, 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 boom! Very easy. Great. That's good damage. That's not bad. Um, in fact, that one might be even a little bit practical based on it, if you jump in too far away and sure. you can't get the crouching fierce because it's a little shorter. Yeah. You could totally go into the kick and finish it there. That's fine. This one is jumping hard punch, standing mini punch, cru yeah, th now we're talking. This is this is the big damage that this, you're looking for. This is what we're talking about, so... Mm, mm. Oh, I missed oh. the last part. But we'll get it. I fucked up. That's okay. But that, like, this cr uh, standing medium punch to crouching fierce is godlike. Okay. All day long with that. Yep. If you confirm it, of course. And then they want us to do the, the kicks into the dive into the V skill. Into the end the grab up. Uh huh. Okay. Beautiful. When you do the snatch out of the air, does he automatically follow up with that punch? The the the, the that dunk, little, that little donkey punch. Yeah, that's automatic. You know that's, what that dunk what it looks like. Oh, there's a crush counter combo. See, look, they're teaching us how to crush counter, and this one's from his uh, most ranged crush counter. The only thing you can get after this is the exact thing. Well, the only practical thing you can get after this is the exact thing that they're showing us. Okay. Which requires a dash in for the light punch. So this is his crush counter combo. This right here. Off of thi this is this is the if you land a far range roundhouse, this is what you're probably this is what you're gonna do. Probably gonna do, um, which is simple. Uh, a little too far away that time. Yeah. Boom splash. And you can even go into a ex splash if you want more damage. Sure, sure. Now we're talking. So this is off of a crush counter, off of crouching heavy punch. Which you can definitely get. Look at right. that juggle. You can get a full. You can get a full psycho knuckle. He flies to the sky. He basically should get like round trip miles. He's up there so long. <laughs> you see that? I have yeah. time to charge full psycho knuckle, and then they want me to land him into a flicker. Well, I like. I like that. 
these charge moves have applications other than like, here's a big risk reward move. Like, no, this is how you're going to use it. Uh, the psycho. I want to go back to that last challenge, though. Um, hold on. Where do how do I do this? Go back, press the back button. Command list return. And you made yeah, yeah, to, thank you. Okay. Uh, the psycho knuckle has a lot of application, man. I'm telling you. Like it's good and neutral sometimes when people are like hesitating. Right. Like, let's say you're like peppering somebody with this shit, and the moment you think they hesitate, boom, we're in there. Right. You know? Uh, but I wanted to see if you can get anything. I don't think flicker is the right idea after that. I might be totally wrong. I think it's only flicker. Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. Sorry. I want to do that. There you go. Okay, so I was trying to do the spark. It looks yeah. like he's too low for that. Maybe we can do the kicks. <laughs> can you no, do the punch? Just the flicker. Hmm. So maybe that's why they want us to do flickers, because like, yo, it's the only thing that's fast enough. Can you do a reset? So it looks like really flickers the just only thing. Flicker. Well, if we can do flicker, ah, uh, if we can do flicker, that means you can at least do super, which is you can cancel on the super. Okay, Psycho Knuckle. Okay, so this is a combo that they want us to do if you catch somebody with that. And it's, mm. Oh, that's beautiful. And you know what we do after that? The knuckle where we go. Oh, we charge it again. Another Psycho Knuckle. Wow. And into that, and then we, yep. Oh, that's so cool. Right. Now, can we trigger anything and grab them out of the sky or no? That's it. After what? The, after the, the second Psycho yeah. Knuckle? No, they're done okay. after that. Ready for some V uh, skill stuff? Yeah. So they want us to do this. Charge it up, grab them oh, in. Ready for the V trigger? Yeah. Psycho cannon. Oh, cool. Like, um, like Dalsim. A little bit. So Except he just has it on a trigger. He doesn't have to use a super bar. So it's five hits. The fifth hit launches them up. And then do you just follow it? This is your way to get in. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. yes. And then but you jump off the, up in the air. That's the regular version. You can press forward when you do it to make it go faster, to be more aggressive, maybe for combos. Um... But this will give me an opportunity to show you his charged air V skill. Boom. Snatches them back down. Grabs back down to the ground. Which lets you, whoops, which lets you do some follow-up stuff. Boom. Wow. Which, of course, goes into super if Does you that, want. It looks like an OTGs. It doesn't, though, right? It's uh, just the it's way it juggles? It's technically not an OTG. Okay. It's, it's just like a ground bounce thing. You have, like, a very brief window of ground bounce. All right, so they want us to do this into that. Juggle with medium punch. Jeez Louise. You can juggle with medium punch, and then after that, they want us to do the the air uh, anti-air V skill. Okay. So let's give it a shot. Beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. That practical? I feel like that medium Absolutely. punch. Absolutely. Okay. If, if you have a, a single bar, which you will, and full V trigger, and you catch somebody with this, boom, oh, boom. they're going for a ride. Bye bye. Absolutely, it's practical. Um, crouching. Okay, so another, another uh, crush counter setup. They want us to do. Oh, grab them. We supposed to do this in the corner? Yes, you are. Let me restart it. Yeah, we are. All right, my bad. Uh, let's see. Right? And then they want us to do the kicks into the EX splash into, into EX uppercut. So, two bar combo. Also, corner. Yes, corner only as well. But not bad damage. Ready for the last one? Yeah, look at this baby. All right. Standing, crouching, psycho, into the air, grab him, upper. Oh, yeah. Barrage. Wow. And it goes into full animation? You better believe it. Wow, it's what a great, damage. what a great super! Yeah, a little too long for my taste, but I oh, do no, like I it. Oh no, I like it. I hate that shit. Make it's your like, no, make your opponent think about it. You're the type of player that's like, I want you to stop playing your video game. <laughs> you put your fucking hands down. What do you think so far? He seems great. He seems very interesting. Um, his juggles, his commands. He's I don't know. He's different. I like him. Uh, 
I appreciate his V-Skill most of all. Nobody else's V-Skill works like that. Does he have a volume one of Trials or no? He's new. No, because he wasn't okay. around. Yeah. Well, show me his story. I want you all to know that Santel lifted his hands into the air for that. It's going to be like, it's going to be like Annie, but reverse Annie. And Danny Warbucks is black and a boxer. True. <gasps> five. All right, let's do it. Oh, he's 5'11". What else? Oh, little boy. His appendix. <laughs> They're about to burst. Is that a bandage on his face or is that his teeth? Uh, great question. Yo, Bison's coming for you, dog. He's having nightmares. Oh, he's growing up too. Question: Did he just grow right now? No, or was that, no. Okay, okay. I assume we're supposed to mean that. Assume that he's been having these nightmares forever. He just sleeps next to Balrog. Mm. Yeah, this is Pop. Shut up, Ed. Poor Ed. I love, I love this new role that Balrog has as yeah. like pop. Yeah. If I can make another Balrog film, oh my god, the material that we have now. He's gonna be like, he's gonna run a gym. He's gonna like keep keep on Ed to do his homework and shit. Oh. Oh, I oh, can't wait. Loading. Every night. Every night. In my dreams. I, I can't move. I can't even scream. Then the feeling that my body isn't even mine. Poor kid. Well, you should talk with Abel. There should be like a bison like recovery group. Right. Wait, he was made in a lab? Yeah. I assume he was kidnapped. No, he's made in a lab. At least the aging slowed down. I hate being old. Because worse than nightmares, ball rock playing nursemaid and helping me take a crap. <laughs> what? Yeah, he's scared of getting old. Balrog, I need help wiping. Well, it's a win for me. But the mist in that dream is feeling stronger. And so is this power. <clears throat> what? Daddy Bison's coming for you, dog. Yeah. Ooh, oh. who's that girl? You. I sense something incredible is locked inside. Fortune teller. What? Yo. The hell are you, lady? She's going to be a playable character. Where did Season you three. Come from? Confirmed. Huh? She's like the new Rose. Right? That's like a psycho power ball. The you that you are will cease to be. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> what are you, a fortune cookie? No. Uh, my master is always saying something like Faith is a fixed line. Who says but... that? Is that Gen? No, sounds like Rose. Fate. But she like uh, did old man. Yet oh, your fate. What a great portrait of Ed. But you two will have some rough times ahead. Good luck. <laughs> great. Literally teasing for future characters and shit that's not happening now. Right. Good lord. Oh no, Zagif is in the streets of India. We're in the middle of a job here. Are we gonna wear this outfit? Probably. He looks so skinny here, but his like model is so big. True. Uh yeah, dude. I sh that nice. chick that we just saw definitely looks like one of the silhouettes that they've already teased. Oh, cool. so she's season two. It's looking like it. <laughs> looks like she's got ties to Rose as well. Where's the lava coming from? The explosion. I guess the nightmare's finally over. <laughs> I think we just switched to the end of story mode. I don't understand what happened. I, I think thought... I think this is them. This is taking place. Yeah. At the very end of the cinematic story mode, when they blew up the Shadow Loop. Okay, fine. With lava. <clears throat> yeah, there's no story here at all. Like, oh no, his nightmares are back. Oh yeah. Daddy's come to collect. Oh, it's like Nightmare on Elm Street. Right? That does not look like that skinny little kid. This guy is fucking huge. That's how he sees himself in his head. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, welcome back to the fucking hallway, though. Right? Mm. I don't understand. They blew up Shadowloo, but now they're still living in, like, the under chambers. Yeah. Woo. Can you get enough for super? No. I'll probably try and end with one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're close. You're fighting Ooh. your space demons. 
<laughs> or maybe this is like uh, the holodeck. I think I went over him. Oh yeah. no! <laughs> this stage is cool. Yeah. I think we fought here during the cinematic story mode. Remember that? Yo, if you could buy. Wait, do you remember that? Yeah. Hmm. Chun Li fought in here. So did Cammy. Something like that. Uh, if you could buy like a Tupac version of like uh, holograms of the characters, would you want to play as them? No. Okay. <laughs> Oh, did Balrog get bopped? No, he just sleeps next to him. Oh, that was a dream. Yeah. Oh, okay. Again, I have a father. I've never slept that close to my father before. Mm. He's running away. Oh, boy. <laughs> Balrog <laughs> is having some indigestion. So he's finally leaving, huh? When you're finished growing up, the you that you are will cease to be. What I, a true and terrifying phrase. I was going to say, Jesus is going to say that on my headstone. We'll have rough times. I guess she didn't mean rock. Who does she mean? I don't know. Someone else. Oh, yeah, because he's leaving. There has to be someone else like me running around out there. What he doesn't realize is that Rog is already having a tough time because Ed's leaving. Oh. He cares about that boy. This is so funny to me. They're going to fight. That he, like, cares. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's Ugh. just... If we stick together, you're going to get hurt one of these days. They care about each I'm other. I'm already hurt. If you leave, I'll be real hurt, boy. You're too weak to hurt me. Chumps like you should shut up and follow orders. I ain't no chump. You'd be up a creek without me. The development that they're giving Balrog is breaking my heart. What do you mean? Like, I think it's a li bad. Balrog's a joke, but like, look at this. Like, right. He's a dad. Yeah. Look at all those fun bonding times they had. I'm gonna show you Oh, we gotta fight our dad. Okay, so we're gonna beat him, but I really hope at the end there's a shot of Balrog like with a single tear being like, you take care, boy. No, it's not gonna be like that. He's gonna <laughs> say something like, you might have got me this once, but never again. <laughs> My theme again? Okay. Oh. Look at Ed just going to the gym in this outfit. Put some iPhone headphones in him, too. He'd be one of those fucking dancing silhouettes. Fight me! Mm. Big damage. It's damage that is big. That's you gotta, death. You gotta put the super on your old man. Hit him into the crit. I love the way this dude fights. Look at that. Look at that ender. And I love the hoodie outfit. I love them red sneaks. Yeah, they're very clean. Again. Oh shit. Power rocks like that? Beat it. Aww. Aww. Get lost. Ed in the background looks like the It's Gonna Be Me video. <laughs> yeah, there's the strings pulling him. Poor Balrog needs to learn how to express his feelings better. Okay, so I'm gonna go on record here and say that this is not plot wise. I couldn't, like, nothing happened. But this is one of the best character stories they've ever done simply because, like, it just made you care a little bit. Right. Right, whatever you think about Balrog as a bad guy, he also, like... Whoa, Whoa. who the fuck are these guys? Cool. New playable characters. Fuck it, they got Winston! It, that's a gorilla, that's some chick with a bow staff, and some dude with some weird facial hair. Great. Season 3 confirmed! Yeah, we'll see. Yo, when can I get the comic book of Ed and his fucking special forces team? Yeah, what? Okay. Well, we'll see what They're happens They're gonna go fight them. the X-Men in Fantastic Four. We'll see what happens with them, dude. Yeah, those are some crazy character designs, man. So I guess Ed started his own group? His own Street Fighter group. What He's, are they gonna be called? Uh, I don't know. Shadow Woos? Shadow Woos? <laughs> they're good guys, I guess. We don't know. There's just like an organization. I, mean, they're, I don't know if they're good or bad or it, something in between. They're just we're walking around. What the fuck is up with 2017 and fucking talking gorillas? Just gorillas are everywhere right now. <laughs> gorillas are so big right now. Gorillas are blowing up. I'm excited to uh, take Ed online because yeah. I like the way he fights. It's going to be exciting. Let's get 10 points with him. Right now. Let's no, just keep. Oh, not right now. We'll save it for next time. All right. See you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.